Starting with <coughs> what's your dream mall. Me? I have no dreams. I don't sleep. Do no, no, don't say that part. <laughs> <laughs> Oh it's a, I don't dream. Oh, okay. I got the idea. I don't dream. I don't sleep now, and I don't. I don't eat now. <laughs> so I'm still a loser. I'm telling you, man. Fuck you. I'm not a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Fucking bad. Oh my god. Okay, hi again. So the last time I made a video with my roommate was like eight months ago. Before the spread of COVID-19, we talked about how we met and the craziest pranks we have ever done to someone. Now it's August and he's about to move out. So we just thought about doing a few more videos for you. Hope this one can make you laugh and sorry for the okay quality. This is uh, another meeting me and my roommate, Brian. I didn't inter introduce him last time. I just forgot. So yeah, this is a Brian, almost PhD student in New York. Hi everybody. I'm like, I'm, I'm very honored to be part of the Move YouTube and I feel so happy every day living with this amazing person. Oh, thank you. Well, it's only eight days that you fuck up. If you were gonna be an animal today, what would it be and why? Why would I be an animal? It's a dumb answer. I, why, why do we actually ask questions like that even in interviews? Like, if you are a type of a tree, what type of a tree would you be? To answer your question, I would be a wolf. Why? Because I like to be alone. Not all the time, but yeah. You know, they work together, right? The wolves work together to get food. Really? For real? Uh, what about China? What's the animal there? Other than panda. Shut the fuck up. We all obviously have person. red pandas. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, there are countries who have more than one national animal. Or maybe I should say one national animal and also one national bird. What would say the national animal of Saudi Arabia? They always show the camel, but I don't like to say that. Mm -hmm. I think it's uh, the hawk. Uh -huh. We always say the Saudi soccer team, uh -huh. football in our world. You know? oh, yeah, I, yeah. well, I get it, I get it. Yeah. We say the hawks of Saudi or the team of hawks. Uh -huh. So I always say hawks, mm -hmm. but you know, some friends come here and they have a like uh, drawing of a camel. I'm like, mm -hmm. don't do that, it's just, Mm -hmm. For some reason, a camel has a bad idea or a bad image, mm -hmm. and I don't know why. Don't you see that? Like when people say, oh, camel, you have camels in your country. They say it in a negative way. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, why? Okay, let's, let's say, let's say uh -huh. that it's the national animal. Actually, camel is the national animal in Saudi Arabia, and hawk or falcon is the national bird of Saudi Arabia. Why is it bad? It's kind of slightly racist, I guess. It is, <laughs> but, <I> mean, <laughs> but you are the one who makes the racist stuff or not. Uh -huh. Did you think so? Like, if you see someone Chinese, yeah, uh -huh. or Saudi, I could say it same same way. I say, oh, you're Chinese. Uh -huh. Oh, you're Chinese, huh? Uh, oh yeah. It's, it sounds uh -huh. racist. Yeah, you, I mean? you people. Uh -huh. <laughs> so in ten years, I'm gonna become a relatively successful chemistry professor at a really cool university, and you're probably gonna have a little kid at some point. I don't. Okay, sure. Say you got a kid. Would you send your kid to me to be my graduate student? Definitely, 100%. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would tell him go to Uncle O'Brien. Mm -hmm. He will definitely give you a plus. If he mm -hmm. doesn't, we have a problem with him. So you are an actor, or you took uh, theater as a minor, then you dropped it. I dropped it. But you suck at acting. I suck, yes. I 100% agree, I suck at acting. You are actually a good actor, O'Brien. And we always get you on your birthday, like how is that? Like, don't you, at least don't I'm you realize- I'm a very nice person. Deep mm -hmm. down, okay, Mo. I know. I trust people, like my good friend oh, over thank here. You. And when my good friends trying to make, you know, make a thing out of me, I I would not believe that would happen. Okay, but solid acting, Mo. Solid acting. Three times mm -hmm. or four times. I, I don't know. Oh, you just took me. I'm gonna buy a table. What the <laughs> fuck? Why the fuck you need another table? We have like four tables in this room. Why would you need a table? Sure, Mo, of course you're gonna take you to buy a new table. I was trapped. How the fuck did you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But do you remember the first time we tricked you, actually? The very first birthday we tricked you. Oh, uh, is it one at the apartment? Yeah, that uh, cursed apartment. Oh, are we gonna talk about the apartment now? <laughs> I remember I saw you in the afternoon in the apartment and I was talking with you, I said, yeah, I'm not feeling that well today. Uh -huh. And I just let it be like that, just like uh -huh. to give you an idea so that I'm not doing well. At night, like everyone came to the apartment, they came to his room, 
mm -hmm. except uh, your friend Yue. I remember that I actually told the roommate to tell you that I'm really sick and I need mm -hmm. someone to take me. So he, ah, told, you. Oh, so he okay. told you. Okay, okay, now I remember. So we're, we're going back yes. to check on you. And then you were still acting when we get there. Yeah. I, and then everybody else in the other room and then I was about to take you or something like that. And then everybody like, hey! Yeah, I had I had water on my face, like I'm uh, sweaty or something. <laughs> Did you <laughs> that, actually put it on? Yeah, some water like this on my face. And you came, and I'm actually looking at you, I'm actually laughing inside. Then I was like, hey, I'm just going to the living room. And you came, and all of them uh -huh. went outside to say, hey, have a day. Then you just put the glass and you stood like this. Yeah. Good job, Mo. Good, Good job. job. Like, you not, you not only act like an Oscar, you also put on your own makeup. Solid. <laughs> that water, beautiful. Mo, you know what I want to do to you right now? What do you want to do? Really? Really? Oh my god. Okay, let's talk. Sure. It's a nice one. Why did you break it? It was an artwork by me. Intentional to break it. You see this? It's all yeah, it my signature on it. I can put my signature on any art and I say it's mine. No, I bought this painting <laughs> for $20 and I poked the holes myself. So that's my artwork. So it was already painted. Yes. And the uh, hole. Oh. Mm -hmm. Made it you. Yes. How much does it cost? I mean, no, no, how much does it cost after the art? How much would you pay for this? Nothing. Maybe like, a dollar? <laughs> no, like, even if you pay me money, I'm not gonna take it. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it away. Don't understand what true art is. <laughs> Let's talk about how dangerous it is to live with a brain the chemist. So basically, someone in this apartment forgot the food in the oven. Not in the oven, on the stove. That's the different. Stove. Well, what's the difference? There's the a difference. Is inside, that stove is above. Okay, okay, language differences. <laughs> anyway. I remember when you moved in here, mm -hmm. we agreed that you never do any chemistry experiments, but you have done a few so far. Safely. Safely. But don't you feel afraid when you do them? And you actually drag me with you, that's the worst, worst part. Okay, okay, so okay. the thing what we did, it was under, I, I know the risk, but I know it's manageable. Mm -hmm. I am always ready if something goes wrong. But I'm not ready. <laughs> yeah, that's why, you know, I'm protecting you by making you standing up next, next to me. You know, we have the video and you are not actually asking me to stay away, you are actually asking me to come. Literally. Literally, you're asking oh, me I'm to so You're so gonna show this part. Yeah, I didn't mention it for nothing. Hello, our viewers, for uh, Quarantine Home Chemistry Episode 1. This is me, almost a bachelor degree, Brian Sonny in chemistry. This is my delightful assistant. What's your name? Mo, the best. Exactly. So today, we're gonna show you guys some fun chemistry experiments. And, uh, can you hear me? Fun chemistry experiments. For example, we're gonna do this right now. Oh shit, shit. Oh, yeah! Oh, 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 that's gonna be cool. This is cool, right? Yeah. Right, Mo? Yeah. Is cool? What was? Oh, it's right? What was cool? Try a bigger one. Get back, just come back here. Come on. That's safe? Huh? That's safe, right? Always. I'm pretty okay. sure. It's like a Breaking Bad, you are the... But the thing is, we look the opposite, mm -hmm. <laughs> the Breaking Bad. 
<laughs> but we are doing different rules. Do you see what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you're slightly like water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you are the one who does yeah. his job. So Breaking Bad is a TV show about a chemist, Walter, and his assistant, Jesse. I slightly look like Walter, but I know nothing about chemistry. While Brian knows a lot about chemistry, but he looks nothing like Walter or Jesse. Okay, Mo. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? About what? Feeling. I have no feelings. This interview is officially over. <laughs> sure. Okay. Like, subscribe, and share. No, I <laughs>